All right. So everyone, this is just to show you um, the simplest way to uh, perform a recruitment maneuver on the ventilator. So uh, we have our patient here and he is ventilated on um, this Draeger machine, uh, SIMV mode, uh, volume SIMV. So um, first uh, considerations before we start the recruitment maneuvers, uh, we need to look at the hemodynamics and uh, whenever we perform a recruitment maneuver we have to keep an eye on the blood pressure obviously um, because as you know we we'll reduce the venous return and we might reduce the cardiac output so always keep an eye on the hemodynamics uh, while you perform this another consideration is to um, sedate your patient so the patient uh, must be sedated Ideally paralyzed, but if you can't or it's contraindicated, uh, then you just give him a bolus of propofol. So we'll do that now. We'll give a bolus of propofol. And now the first thing I do here is to increase the FiO2 to 100%. Okay, we'll increase the FiO2 at 100% just to give some reserve. Because as, as you will see in a second, um, with the recruitment maneuver, we, we're going to reduce the tidal volume. So we're just pre-oxygenating the patient here for a few seconds. Right. So the second thing I do now is reducing the tidal volume I bring it down, let's say to 150 milliliters. All right. Okay. Now after that, I'm just gonna increase my peep to 30. Now when I do when when I do that, the machine is asking me for confirmation multiple times. Obviously, we have an alarm, so we stop the alarm. We have the peep at 30 now, and we count 30 seconds. That's the blood, that's the pressure in the airways. Do we need to feed the time as well, or that it comes automatically for 30 seconds? Well, you have to count 30 seconds okay, on 30, timer, 30, if yeah. you have a timer. Yeah. And if you don't have a timer, you can look at the alarm timing here. Yeah. So we're keeping an eye on the blood pressure. So the power pressure is coming down, so now it, it's the time now to come down with the peep, even before that. So we come down to the peep that uh, we want to set. Let's say it was 10 before, and I want to uh, bring it up to 12. So once I do that, I come back with my tidal volumes to normal values, okay? Okay, something like that. And I can start to come down with the oxygen. I do this gradually. So now, uh, the peep we had before was 10. We did the recruitment maneuver. We brought the peep to 30 for at least 30 seconds. Now, we, we, we didn't do that for 30 seconds, but you get the idea. Um, so sorry, maximum of 30 seconds. And then after that, I came down with the peep back to the value I want to set and then brought back this tidal volume to the normal values and now I can come down the FIU2. Okay. Reset the alarms here. Okay. So once you have done this process, uh, you will notice that the compliance of your lung um, is improved. 
we can see that our blood pressure is coming back and uh, saturation is improved. Yeah. yeah, the oxygen saturation now is 99%, mm -hmm. yeah. but that could be due, due to the yeah. FIU2. So after you do a recruitment maneuver, you want to monitor the trend because the reason we're doing a recruitment maneuver here is to identify the best peak, all right? So let's say we had a peak of eight, which was not enough for this patient. So what we do, we recruit the lungs with this process, yeah. and then uh, we come down with a peep, let's say a 10, and we monitor that uh, oxygenation for, let's say, half an hour, and we check the trend. If the patient the recruits, so if the trend of you know oxygen saturation is coming down, that means that the peep that we have set, it's, it's not still not adequate okay so that means that we have to repeat the process and then when you go back you have to set the higher peak so you do this process until you reach the peak at which the patient does not de recruit anymore and then um, you that's why you have to review the patient every half an hour or to 40 minutes you know every time you do this maneuver uh, because, for example, in this patient, uh, the first PEEP was 8. We did the first maneuver, we brought him back to 10 of PEEP, uh, but still he recruited after that. So we repeated the process now uh, on this video. We repeated the process and we brought it back to 12. And now we're just observing to see if he holds, uh, if he holds the saturations there with the same FIO2 that he had before. And so if it holds the saturation, and if we're happy with the compliance, that means that the PEEP here is adequate. So let me recap the process here. You have a patient with some settings, and you're noticing that your patient is not adequately, adequately oxygenating. So atelectasis and the recruitment so you want to do a recruitment maneuver the first thing is to increase the oxygen you know just to give you some reserve and a safety margin you give a bolus of propofol you want the patient sedated ideally paralyzed but not necessarily then you come down with the tidal volume after that you increase the peep to 30 for 30 seconds max once you reach that uh, target, you come down with the PEEP to the value of PEEP that you want to set, which is likely higher than the previous PEEP, all right? And once you come down with your PEEP, you increase the tidal volume back to the normal values, and then you start coming down with the FIO2. So 30 of PEEP for 30 seconds is a safe way to do it, but again, um, you always have to keep an eye on the blood pressure there. Now, after you do the process, you monitor the compliance and you monitor the oxygen saturation on, on the screen. If the patient is holding the sats, that means the PEEP that you have set is adequate. If the patient the recruits over time, let's say over an hour, that means that the PEEP that you have set here is not enough and you have to increase it. Now, typically in ARDS type of picture, um, PEEP can go up to 14, 16, 18, you know. Um, so those are uh, numbers that you would see in ARDS patients. But again, you always have to reassess the patient. It's not a magic number. There are no magic numbers here. You always have to be at the bedside you always have to check the monitor, the ventilator, and you always have to play uh, with your values here. But this is the um, probably easiest way to recruit the lungs with the ventilator, just by increasing the PEEP to 30 for 30 seconds. But to do that, you have to do it safely with the oxygen, and, um, and that's the process. Okay.